Hi folks, Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director in our eight-part basic training tutorial series. Here in part two, we're going to start a project and import media into it. Starting a project is pretty easy in Power Director. All you need to do is just select New Project here from the File menu. And to set up a project, it's pretty much as simple as selecting the aspect ratio. You can do that on the welcome screen we showed you in part one, or you can come up here to the top of the interface and set your project ratio here. There's four by three, 16 by nine, nine by 16, that's your upright phone video, one by one and 360. We're gonna keep it at 16 by nine. And beyond that, the program pretty much digests anything you throw at it. I have tried a variety of file formats and the program works with almost any of them. So it's time to gather media to our project. I've taken video with my camcorder. I have moved that video from my camcorder to my hard drive over a USB connection. It's a very important thing to have all the media and that's the photos, the video, the music, any other audio clips that you're going to use. They all should be on your computer's hard drive. If you leave them on the camcorder, connect to the camcorder and link up to it and then disconnect the camcorder, you're gonna lose the connection to all those files. They must be on your hard drive. So move them from your camcorder, move them from your phone to your hard drive, and then you're pretty much good to go. Just come over here to the media room in the top left of the program, and from this little folder here in the upper left-hand corner, select Import Media Files. I'm gonna select a series of them just by holding down the Shift key and clicking on the first and last in a series, and click Open and the program imports them into the project. Now, in addition to this media here, the program does have some features for capturing or bringing new media into your project. If you go over here to the File menu and select Capture or press Alt F9 on your keyboard, you go into the Capture workspace. And here you can get media from a number of devices. Now, what's lit up here at the top depends on what's plugged into your computer. If I had a webcam plugged in, I'd be able to capture from my webcam. I've got my microphone plugged in so I can record from my microphone. You can also get audio from a CD or rip video from an existing DVD. You can interface with a mini DV or HDV camcorder connected by Firewire, or you can even connect to a TV tuner. But one of my favorite tools in here is a screen recorder. It was freshly updated in the latest version of the program. And when I click on that, this opens up the screen recorder and this screen recorder is pretty full featured. What's nice is that anything you record in here can be easily edited in CyberLink Power Director. You can set it up to record your entire screen or a game. It can lock to an app. So for instance, if I select that and I got YouTube here, it will record only my browser and not any other window in the computer, not any background, that's pretty cool. I can create a custom size or I can record from a device. In addition to that, pretty cool thing, if you've got a webcam, you can set the program up so that it records your webcam view, in other words, you as an inset that you can put in the upper left-hand corner, upper right-hand corner, whatever, of your screen. And if you're teaching using this as a to create tutorials or a game demo, uh, your viewer can actually see you in addition to the program you're recording. Some video overlays you can add. And if you choose, by the way, to record with your webcam, take a look at this. I'm just going up here to the cog to open up the preferences. A very cool thing when you select webcam, you can not only uh, record your webcam, but you can use chroma key to swap out the background. So if you've got a plain background behind you, you can put an ocean or a mountain or whatever in the background uh, and have your audience see the way you can do on Zoom or the way you can do on Skype. Pretty cool to put a fake background behind your webcam view. A lot of cool things in a really nice bonus feature that has been added here to PowerDirector in some of the more recent versions of it. But once we've gathered all our media, it's time to begin editing and that's what we're going to start doing here in part three of our eight-part basic training for CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. I hope to see you in part three.